Let's hop into today's first article, which is going to be from, once again, WCCF Tech, your favorite news source for rumors. There is some fan noise going on, which is probably bleeding through the mic. Hopefully that will get resolved at some point for you guys here. Uh, maybe not today, but... You know, I'm a miner. That's the way it goes. So coming from WCCF Tech, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 12 gigabyte graphics card specs leak out. 8,960 CUDA cores, 384-bit bus, and 20% faster than the 3080 in mining. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 12 gigabyte graphics card is indeed real and coming to the market soon with upgraded specifications as reported by video cards. At the heart of the NVIDIA RTX 3080 12GB graphics card lies the G102, GA102 GPU. The GA102 is one of the many Ampere GPUs that we have seen in the high-end gaming segment and is so far the fastest gaming GPU that NVIDIA has produced. The GPU is based on Samsung's 8 nanometer custom process node design specifically for NVIDIA and features a total of 28 billion transistors. It measures 628 millimeters and which makes it the second biggest gaming GPU ever produced right below the Turing TU-102. For the RTX 3080 12GB, NVIDIA has enabled a total of 70 SM units, which results in a total of 8,960 CUDA cores, a 3% increase over the standard RTX 3080. In addition to the CUDA cores, NVIDIA's R R RTX 3080 also comes packed with the next generation ray tracing cores, tensor cores, and the brand new SM for streaming multiprocessor units. The card is suggested to have a TDP of 350 watts. In terms of memory, which is, remember guys, the important part for us GPU miners, the updated RTX 3080 comes packed with 12 gigabytes of memory, and that too is the next generation GDDR6X design. With Micron's latest and greatest graphics memory dies, the RTX 3080 can deliver GDDR6X memory speeds of up to 19 gigabits per second. That along with a bus interface of 384 bits will deliver a cumulative bandwidth of 912 gigabytes per second or a 20% increase over the 10 gigabyte variant. So let's go ahead and we can calculate out exactly what that means for mining Ethereum, provided, of course, the light hash rate unlock goes to 100%, which is kind of always the problem right now for, of course, NVIDIA and mining in general. Now, what you want to pay attention to here that is interesting, of course, is going to be between these two cells here. So we have the 3080 12 gigabyte on the left and the RTX 3080 on the right. And what you'll notice here is not only do you get two gigabytes more of GDDR6X, but the bus width has gone up from 320 bits to 384 bits, which is where you get this increase from 760 gigabytes per second to 912 gigabytes per second. If we're comparing that to other cars that are currently out, we would be looking at speeds of the RTX 3080 Ti, which we already know as far as with light hash rate unlocks is sitting somewhere between 82 and 91 mega hash a second, depending on if, of course, the latest BIOS flash that EVGA launched is working for your particular GPU. So, Really quickly though, we can show you guys, we usually use percent calculators to get this performance out. We have done it with the 3080 Ti before, so this is nothing really new, but the calculation is pretty simple. If we're taking a look at an RTX 3080, we would basically take this in here and, and, and throw it over into this calculator. Then we would get the, the memory speed of the 3080 12 gigabyte and throw it into here and calculate that out and we know that it's basically 120 percent uh, of basically with the rtx 3080 mining performance so like they stated a 20 percent increase that would be correct provided of course the light hash rate unlock isn't applied so to calculate that out further we would do 120 percent of the uh, usually around 
here's the deal. It really depends on how, how good you've done with your RTX 3080 because there's another issue here that we have to discuss, which is going to be the fact that the some of the memory modules even in the 10 gigabyte mo model are on the back of the gpu uh, and i'm not sure exactly what the memory layout for of course the 3080 12 gigabyte variant is because of the amount of memory modules it's possible that depending on the design we will see memory modules on the back of the gpu which means we will have thermal throttling issues and this means in translation uh, for the hash rate, you can honestly be anywhere between 80 mega hash a second and 100 mega hash a second on the RTX 3080. But if you're not thermal throttling, right, just to be clear, if you're not thermal throttling and you get a good overclock in RTX 3080, 97 mega hash a second isn't unreasonable. So we're just going to go for max throughput and calculate it out from there so we would do the 97 calculate that out and you would be at about 116 mega hash a second which is of course what we had calculated out for the 3080 ti as well when we were doing predictions there and seeing that the memory bandwidth is identical between the 12 gigabyte variant of the rtx 3080 and the RTX 3080 Ti. I'm pretty comfortable with that being the prediction of a fully unlocked hashing RTX 3080 12 gigabyte variant. The question will be, is that going to have a light hash rate unlock model only, or will we have some that don't have light hash rate applied to them? In the past, at least here recently, all of them have had that. The only card that currently does not is the 3090. We do have that announcement of the 3090 Ti as well to look forward to. And that's going to get us over a terabyte a second of memory bandwidth, which is going to be absolutely incredible. I think that'll be the fastest performing memory uh, in a desktop grade graphics card in a long, basically, I think, from NVIDIA ever. So that should be really cool, at least a GeForce line, obviously. The question there will be, do they stick with the RTX 3090 idea and allow miners to purchase it and not put any light hash rate locks on there? Or are they going to, or are they going to go ahead and lock it for the 3090 Ti variant? Uh, both of those, you know, what I'm thinking is the 3090 Ti will not have a light hash rate model and you will only have a light hash rate model on the RTX 3080 12 gigabyte, of course, with all of these unlocks coming out and people starting to figure it out more and more and more and more, it's possible that we get a 100% unlock in a lot of these. The other caveat here, of course, as GPU miners is we already have been preparing for the ETH move to proof of stake. And as a result, we are aware that there are other currencies out there that are mineable. These other currencies that are out there and mineable, for the most part, aren't blocked by the light hash rate technology from NVIDIA, which basically makes it irrelevant if you're building for the future, provided you think there's going to be any future in GPU mining post ETH 2.0. And that is up for debate. And you know what? I'll just say it right off the bat and be up front. I'm just as on the fence of if GPU mining will be profitable after ETH 2.0 or not as well, especially when we see things like Raptorium happen, right? So one of the things that I wanted to talk about that I was thinking about with this in particular, or the idea of like ETH going away and where all the GPUs move to afterwards, a great example of a whole bunch of CPU power, granted not GPU power, but CPU power moving from Monero uh, and moving on to Raptorium basically made it to where because Raptorium is not a large enough coin, uh, basically made it unprofitable as to where previously when there weren't as many people on it, it looked very profitable. But once people caught on, it spiked the difficulty rate so high that it wasn't profitable anymore. What coins can handle, of course, the move over to there? I think if, if from the perspective of bits be tripping my understanding is of course and just the communities in general ravencoin seems to be the largest as far as like total supply and blah 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 so that's one that you would be looking at that could handle a lot of the hash rate but even then it's still nowhere close to ethereum 
Hopefully everything will get spread out evenly or at least in the worst case what we may see is GPU miners at least smaller ones start selling off their rigs and that gets consolidated into bigger farms. Of course that's also been an issue with ASICs as of recent as you see the difficulty spike even in Bitcoin and so on as larger and larger companies are able to buy more and more in bulk pushing out essentially the kind of hobbyist miners which is not ideal in my humble opinion. I think it goes against decentralization and I hope that that can be reeled back in or at least there's some better options for, you know, us, you and me, right? I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.